Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia, and today I have for you the crocheters tag. I found two tags on YouTube, one by My Pretty Brown Doll and One Virtuous Woman. Uh, Pretty Brown Doll has 10 questions, One Virtuous Woman has 24, so I'm going to be answering the 24 questions to get everything out pretty much in this one video. Um, so sit back and let's get started. Question number one, how long have you been crocheting? I have been crocheting for about 15, 16 years. Pretty long time. Um, with the length of time that I've been crocheting, I'm still learning pretty much every day. I learn a new stitch every day. Uh, learn how to use my bigger hooks every day. I've gotten into knitting at one point. So I've been learning how to crochet for about 15 years. Very, very long time. Question number two, who taught you how to crochet? My mother taught me how to crochet about, like I said, 15 years ago. Um, during that time, um, I was in high school, and there was a home ec class that was teaching their kids how to crochet, and of course I wasn't in that class, and I saw them walking around campus with their hook and their yarn, so I asked my mom to show me how to do it because my grandmother crocheted at one point. So my grandmother taught my mother, and my mother taught me. So it's been in our family for a very long time. I'm the only one in my family, my generation, that crochets. So everybody comes to me when they're in need of something crochet, pretty much. Um, what is your favorite hook size? Is question number three. I have three. I like the I hook, the H hook, and the C hook. I use the C hook mostly for my apparel. Um, the I hook I use for my blankets, and the H hook I use mostly for like beanies and things of that nature, of that small nature. Uh, what's your favorite brand of hook? Um, I just pick up hooks. I really don't have a favorite brand. I just I have a lot of hooks actually. I probably will insert a picture of all my hooks, but I have um, I don't have a favorite brand of hook. What's your favorite yarn? Is question number five. My favorite brand of yarn is I love this yarn cotton. It's very easy to work with. Um, it's not stiff when your project is done like the Super Saver could be, even though I know you can wash and kind of soften up the yarn. But cotton yarn is very good to work with when making clothing. As far as my blanket goes, I love Vanna White, I believe that is, the Lion brand. I love her yarn. The Impeccable yarn is pretty good to work with as well. Um, my favorite pattern, I don't think I have a favorite pattern. I just go with the flow of whatever I'm making. There's no favorite pattern. That's question number six. Number seven, who's your favorite crochet guru? Nirvana is the shit. She is awesome. I love following her. There's a, a, a few more people that are pretty awesome, but I can't think of them top of my head, but Nirvana she is legit. Like, I, I, I put on her. Um, what are you inspired by? That's question number eight. I'm inspired by just like everyday life, the trends pretty much that are um, going around lately. I'm in a couple of crochet groups that are pretty awesome. Like, um, on Facebook, there's Chase and Sunray and Crochet and Chill. I really love both groups. That they're very inspiring. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm inspired by Chasing Sunray and um, Crochet and Chill. There's also a Black Crochet Artist page, I believe that's what it's called on Facebook. They're pretty good too. Like, I just like seeing everybody's. Uh, point of view when it comes to crocheting. Like everybody has their different methods of how they crochet. I have my different methods. You might do it one way or they might do it another way. But just like seeing other people how they work and put everything together to make their pieces is pretty awesome. I like those groups though. They really help you like get inspired every day. What do you use for a stitch marker? This is question nine. I use Scrap yarn, paper clips, 
piece of ribbon, anything that's laying around that I can stick in a hole to give my fish marker, I will use. Question 10. What was the highest amount you paid for one skein of yarn? Um, I think the highest I paid was maybe $8.99, and I'm sure. Nope, I just purchased some of that chunky merino yarn. It was $54 for one skein, but the skein was like four pounds, I believe. And you know that wool is really thick, so I paid $54 for one skein of yarn. And I actually had to order more because I needed more. And I paid another $54. So that's how much I paid for one skein of yarn. Number 11. How many times have you redone a project before you got it right? Many, many times. You can sit here and have all your magic formulas and your um, your panels together, and they still will not come out right. I fraud a lot of projects. I have a lot of tangled I have a lot of tangled yarn because of frogging projects. Like it's ridiculous. You don't want to see my yarn pal. <laughs> I tell you that now because I have a lot of tangled yarn from taking projects down and putting them to the side because I was over it. Um. Question 12. Do you know how to read patterns? Yes. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, pattern reading was something that I taught myself. My mother didn't know how to read patterns. My grandmother my grandmother wrote patterns, but I don't think my mother knew how to read them. But I know how to read them because I sat down and taught myself how to read them. I know what a CH is. I know what a D C is, a C S D is, H D C, like all of that. I love to read them. It's the only time I'm a little confused is when they put all these skip, 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 like all that extra. But I love to read patterns. I taught myself how to read them. I'm good. I'm great at reading patterns. Question 13. <clears throat> how do you feel when you're in a yarn store? Excited. I love looking at yarn. Even when I don't need to buy it, buy it, I love looking at all the different colors that have come out, you know, because, you know, bright colors are in right now, so they have all these brands of bright colors from every brand. So I, I get really excited when I see yarn, and I have to stop myself from buying it because yarn is uh, very addicting in my book. Like, I have, well, I don't even want to go there with how much yarn I have. If that's a question, then I'll let you know, but I have too much yarn. Uh, number 14. Oh, <laughs> that's the next question. Do you have a lot of yarn, but still feel like it's not enough? Yes. Absolutely. I have too much yarn, too many unfinished products, the project, sitting in totes, full of yarn, just sitting here. Too much yarn, too much yarn. I'm like over my head in yarn. I tell myself every day I want to start over, throw it away. I have not done that. So, yes, too much yarn. Do you think you're a yarnaholic? Is question 15. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, I have too much yarn. Absolutely too much. Question 16. Have you ever freestyle crochet? Yes, I have. Um, I made a bathing suit one time or jumpsuit bodysuit type situation on my, all on my own do I know how to recreate it again no because I didn't write down my notes like I should have but I have to stop crochet before. number 17 express how you feel when you are counting in crochet and someone interrupts you I absolutely hate it I'm counting even though I'm doing it in my head most times I have to count out loud for them to know that's what I'm doing. And I absolutely hate when people interrupt me when I'm counting. Because I have to stop myself mentally and verbally say it. Like, I'm already in my zone. Don't mess up my zone. My zone is my zone. So, I hate it. Question 18. Do you dream about crochet? Yes. Because there's so much that you, that I want to do. I have so many ideas in my head that it'll just carry over into me sleeping. Sometimes I don't sleep because I have so many thoughts about crocheting and all my other projects that I have to do. So yes, I do dream of crochet. 
Uh, 19, do you drive and crochet? No, that's very dangerous. Even though I text and drive, don't tell nobody. But yes, um, driving and crocheting is not something that I'm willing to do. I have attempted once before, and I'm not going to attempt that again because that's not something I should do. I know. Don't do it. Don't drive and crochet. That's not a good thing to do. do. Question 20, do you work at crochet? I think the question is, do you work while you crochet, or, you know what, I read that question wrong. Do you crochet at work? <laughs> I have crocheted at work. I've completed a full project at work for somebody's birthday party. Um, it was a Saturday, I had to work, and I needed to finish this crochet project before I went to the birthday party. So, I crocheted at work. I got my work done, but I still crochet at work. Question 21. Do you dislike it when you have a simple pattern but it's hard to follow due to the way it is written? Yes. Absolutely. You like, it shouldn't be hard to make a bathing suit bottom bikini because of the way the pattern is written. Just make sure that you guys are going over your patterns before you put them out there because people have to read them in order to get the design hat. Because just because you wrote it one way, that's how you understood it. Somebody else might not understand it the same way. So just make sure that you can go over your patterns and it's simple. It's a simple pattern. Go over it and make sure you word it correctly. Because that's another thing with reading patterns. You have to make sure that the patterns are, you know, everybody can read them. Like, everybody can understand them. If your patterns are not understandable, nobody is going to work your pattern. And then you purchasing or making these patterns for, like, so much. Like, you sell them for $10 to $15 and nobody can understand them. That's not, that's not cool. Got to make sure your patterns are written correctly and understandable. Question 23. How many uh, unfinished objects do you have? The question is, how many UFOs do you have? A lot. Like I said, I have tubs, tubs full of projects that I have worked on that have unfinished projects in them because I got frustrated with them. But there are projects for myself, just things that I want to work on for myself. And once I get frustrated with something, I have to put it to the side. I'll come back to it eventually, but at this point, it's still in the tub in this corner that I have of yarn sitting here waiting to be worked again. And that's probably what I need to do in order to get most of this yarn out so that I can restart my yarn collection. But at this point, I have not gotten to the bottom of that tub to get to those unfinished projects. They have to stay there until I'm ready. Point blank. The last question. <laughs> question 24. Do you travel with your hooking yarn? I have on plenty of occasions. I have because it depends on like the destination, driven to or rolled in the car to Arizona, to Vegas, to wherever I'm going. I have taken it with me if I have a project that I need to finish. If I just know that the drive is going to be long and something to do when you know everybody else is asleep or reading a book or something, I will take my cooking yarn with me in order to get some work done. Um. That's it for those 24 questions. I'm going to answer some bonus questions from my pretty brown doll. Um, she asked on um, her question, one of her questions was, do you have any other hobbies? I do. I am a very crafty person. I try to put my hands in a little bit of everything. I make logos with Photoshop. I do Snapchat filters with Photoshop. I'm learning how to do Adobe Illustrator right now. That's pretty cool to work with. Um, I paint. I even dabble in doing like K-pop at one point. Pretty much anything that like piques my interest, I will try my hand at just to get a feel of like how it works. I'm doing that with YouTube right now. Like I'm just trying to get the feel of how it works. I actually did edit edited my first video on YouTube, so that was pretty fun. So I like that process. So trying to get get into that a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I will leave these questions down in the description bar if you guys would like to answer this crochet tag. Um, yeah, so if you guys like to see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos very soon. Once again, my name is Mia, and I will see you next time. Bye.